today. I was here last night too, but I just didn't film it for you guys. I was mad tired because I literally drove 16 hours from Orlando after working my shift at the park <laughs> to come. So I was only here for like an hour and a half last night, but it was totally worth it. But today it's a half of a vlog, I guess you can say, because I'm gonna spend half the day here and then I'm gonna try to spend the other half of the day, I'm gonna park hop over to Cedar Point. I've never actually done that before in all the years that I've been going to these parks. I've never done that. So it's gonna be a new one for today. So let's get on with it and go have a King's Island and a CP day. Totally love these fountains that are just going off and going all crazy in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's such a pretty park. Not flight of fear, but the morning giga, <laughs> you know it. Oh yeah, it's Orion time. Gonna get on the first train of the day, so uh, let's go get up in the station and get Orion. There's so many reasons why this will always be one of my favorites. I love Orion so much. It's so good. So good. Don't care what you say. Your opinion don't matter on that. It's a good ride. Enjoy it for what it is and just ride it. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ride a Flight of Fear because I haven't ridden that in a very long time since it was Flight of Cheer. But that's another story for another King's Island day. So let's go uh, kick it with the aliens. So it's not open yet but let's go find something else that is. So I totally found myself getting some blue ice cream. We wouldn't be coming to Kings Island if you didn't get the blue ice cream. Then afterwards, we're gonna go ride Banshee. The first blue ice cream time. So for those who haven't had the blue ice cream before, it literally tastes like a blueberry soft serve, a little bit mixed with vanilla, but more so on the blueberry side. Super good, so definitely get it when you're at Kings Island. Oh yeah, it's Banshee time. reasons why Banshee remains one of my favorite B&M inverts. It's so good. It was a lot smoother this time than last time I rode in it, so it's cool to see that uh, it's having a Banshee way. And I will say this, for being ex exponentially faded, it actually looks good. Like, I don't know, like I like how the, like, the purple is faded with like the blue. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I stand alone on that, but it looks cool. So it's off to the next part of our Banshee ridding Kings Island day. Their Mardi Gras celebrations in full spring. So it's time for some real breakfast. So uh, let's go to Grain and Grill, or I should say lunch, because it is the afternoon almost, even though it's 11 a.m. So let's head on into Grain and Grill and get something scrumptious. So here's all the interesting scrumptious things that they have here at Grain and Grill. So it's kind of cool. You get to like make your own. So let's uh, build something yummy. So here's all the goods that they have. I ended up going with the pork skewers, so uh, we'll check them out as soon as we get them. The beef looks pretty good too. And all the other random sides of goodness. Then here's mine, so let's grab it. So I totally went with the pork skewers. They look really good, they smell really good. Came with some Brussels sprouts too, and some naan bread. So let's dig on into this scrumptious smelling, and I know it's gonna be delicious, skewer Brussels sprout goodness. So that was actually super good. Like I literally like the Brussels sprouts were super yummy. They had a good vibe to them. And then um, those pork skewers had a really, really good like Asian sauce on it. It just hit the spot. And then like I took to, like one of the pork skewers and I cut it up and then I put some Brussels sprouts with it and uh, I put it inside the naan. So I kind of had like a naan taco, I guess you can say in a way. So it was uh, definitely a yummy experience and uh, a cool addition to here at International Street because Last time I was here, that was a skyline. So it's kind of cool to see that they uh, changed it up a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, around, I should say, and I'm gonna go ride some Mystic Timbers and uh, I'm gonna see if Diamondback's open because it wasn't open yesterday. So I definitely wanna try to get my ride on that because I love that ride. So uh, I'll hit you back when I get over to Mystic Timbers. Time to get Mystic with the Timbers. Let's head into this abandoned lumber mill and go ride Mystic. Oh, yeah. 
There is so many reasons why Mystic Timbers will remain one of my favorite wooden coasters like ever. So good. So good. The layout's super good. The airtime's good. The shed. I mean, don't go in there. I've never been in there. <laughs> so much fun times. It rides good when it's hot. It rides good when it's cold. The coldest ride I've ever had on it was actually 14 degrees and I rode Mystic Timbers with snow on the track. I'll never forget that. Super good time and definitely one of my favorite coasters like all of all time. I don't know, I wanna say it's like Mystic Timbers, uh, Ghost Rider, Excalibur, all oh, so good. By the Excalibur, I mean the one in Maine because that one is amazing. And yeah, but it's all about Mystic Timbers today. So I'm gonna keep on wandering around the park and uh, go have some fun because that was just a good time right there. So I wandered over by Diamondback. This is a good thing. Everyone's waiting up, so I think it's gonna open because it was closed all day yesterday, or at least the part that I was here, and it's been closed so far today. So let's hang out and join these friendly people for some Diamondback. And we have testing. We have testing. So let's just chill a little bit longer and then get our diamond back on. It's not like any good ride. It ends in the gift shop. <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna film the merchandise for you guys like the Disney vloggers do. I'm just kidding, it's not my thing, but hey, there's some cool stuff in here. So let's go wander about. What could I say? Diamondback is so much fun and so many awesome Diamondback type ways. I love that one too. It was definitely a, a little bit more rattly than before. It's got the B&M rattle pretty good on there actually. But I mean, I don't know what B&M doesn't have a B&M rattle right now. I mean, Penguin Trek at SeaWorld, sorry, uh, SeaWorld Orlando is brand new and it's got a rattle, so I guess it's a thing. So, you know, it is a uh, diamond back, so I guess it is supposed to rattle in some way, right? <laughs> well, I'm gonna cruise and uh, I think I'm gonna go get my uh, Flight of Fear because I haven't got the right Flight of Fear yet here today. So I'm gonna go get on that because I love that uh, spaghetti bowl. So good in so many ways. So I'm not gonna follow the footprints today to go ride the Beast. I rode the Beast yesterday and uh, the Beast, I'm sorry, but uh, I love you, but you need some work. So I'm gonna not follow the footprints today. I'm gonna head over this way. Like I said, go get myself some Flight of Fear because that just sounds awesome. Well, Flight of Fear is not gonna open today. So it's on to go ride the racer because I haven't ridden racer in a hot minute either. So let's go race around. I totally found my way over to the racer. Let's head on in and join the race. So I just realized that I've actually never ridden the blue side on the racer. So that's a new credit for me. I've only ridden on the red side. So that was pretty fun and it was cool in its own way. Second to last seat, so you're not on a wheel. Makes for a good time. Either way, it's still a race of a way, you know? I don't know. I dig that one, it's fun. Just awesome old wooden coaster. So I'm gonna cruise around a little bit more and uh, go see what else I can get myself into. Yeah, I found my way over to Orion again. So uh, let's go ride that awesome, awesome Hyper. Hyper, yeah, Hyper, or is it a Giga? It's a Giga. Kings Island, what could I say? I seriously love Orion so much. Orion's so rad in so many ways. It's so good, so good. This just remains one of my favorite rides. Like, I don't know, I got to ride it a couple times this trip. I don't think, unfortunately, I do think that will be my last ride on it today, but so worth the trip alone just to come ride Orion. I mean, Diamondback was good too, but it's got a little bit of the B&M rattle, but nothing compares to Orion for that. But that doesn't mean the rest of the day has to end. So we're gonna cruise around a little bit more and we're gonna go have some more fun. So I totally love that they have a Skyline Chili here in the park. So I'm gonna come grab some. If you guys haven't had Skyline before, it's super good and it's like a total staple to the Cincinnati area. So uh, definitely make sure you try one. I know this one right outside of Walt Disney World too, so uh, definitely check it out. And let's go stand in line and get some Skyline. 
total skyline goodness. You can get two cheese ponies and fries, a three-way, four-way. They don't do the five-way here though, but that's okay. So uh, let's get something scrumptious. So you guys totally know I went with these two cheese conies. It just sounded really good right now. All that cheese, the onions, it's got mustard inside of it, and that awesome skyline chili. And it came with some fries too. So delicious scrumptiousness, you can't go wrong. And whatever you do, make sure you always get yourself some of that skyline hot sauce too. And don't forget your refill cup. Now let's dig on into these cheese conies. Well, you can't ever go wrong with Skyline. It's so good in so many ways. Like those cheese conies are always just hit the spot. So much so. But uh, this is gonna end this section of the video today. Uh, it's getting later in the day and I'm gonna go drive to Cedar Point because I wanna get up there because I just wanna go have an amazing day at the point. After an amazing day at the island. Point, the island, all these water type surrounded areas, I guess you can say. <laughs> well, love you guys. I'll uh, hit you back when I get there. And of course I made it to Cedar Point. So let's head on in and go visit the point. So I totally made it inside, picked up my friend Jordan and she decided to come hang out at the park with me. So uh, I think we're gonna head over and uh, go ride some Magnum because that's what you do when you come to this park. You go ride Magnum because it's Magnum. How many people say that one when they come to Cedar Point? They go ride Magnum first. Yeah, I go ride Magnum first because it's Magnum. So I'll see you when I get the Magnum. Oh yeah, it's Magnum XL 200 time. Let's go jump on in. Magnum was so good. Row 17 on Magnum, oh, so good. So much airtime, so smooth, and just amazingly good. I mean, you can't ever go wrong with a ride on Magnum. Seriously, always gotta hit this up first. Well, Jordan and I, she's just chilling and kind of like, eh. We're gonna go cruise around the park some more and uh, see what else kind of trouble we can get into. So I'll hit you back when we get there. It's all about backbeat. Let's go get something scrumptious. Some of the scrumptious goodies you can get here at Backbeat. Take a barbecue entree and there you go. All the scrumptiousness that they have in here. So much good stuff all the way down. So I totally went with the pulled pork. Got some mac and cheese because it looked amazingly scrumptious. And it came with a cornbread muffin. And I hate to say it, but they got rid of all the cool barbecue sauces that they used to have here. And it's now just Heinz barbecue sauce. So kind of a strike already off the bat, but either way, let's dig on in and see if it's just as good as it was before. So my friend got chicken tenders, some honey mustard and fries, and of course a corn big musket. And this awesome chicken tender looks really good. So I know she's gonna enjoy it. So after your backbeat, it actually was pretty good. Still good in its own way. Like pulled pork was yummy and had a good flavor to it. Mac and cheese was super bomb though. I actually really enjoyed that very much though. So, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with it. And then the cornbread muffin, cornbread, come on. That's like speaking right to my heart right there. <laughs> well, either way, it's still super good in its own crazy type of cedar fairway. Yeah, we are headed over to Millennium Force. So let's go get Millie'd. Totally just had a twilight ride on Millennium Force. Oh, that was so good. Got a mouthful of protein from all the wonderful bugs. Oh, how I missed it. <laughs> that was super fun. I almost forgot how much I love this coaster too. So good, so smooth, so fast. Such an awesome good time. Jordan, how did you think about it? I loved it. She loved it. Need I say more? <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep on cruising around, see where else that we can end up because what you do when you come to Cedar Point, you go cause trouble. <laughs>
So uh, after our ride on Millennium, I actually met up with some of my friends that work here. I have a lot of friends that work at Cedar Point. I know I don't usually talk about like my life and stuff in a way. But yeah, I worked at Cedar Point here for a good number of years. So I have a lot of friends that work here and it's kind of cool catching up with them and see that they're doing well. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was kind of a bit random and uh, fun in its own way. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe here on YouTube. Love you all. Peace. Into the darkness we go.